Hi, I'm Father Jim Martin, Culture Editor of America Magazine with a Easter reflection for you. I am a big nature person, uh, but unfortunately I don't get a lot of it. Here, for example, is the view outside my window uh, in Manhattan from my office. Yes, that is in fact my view. So I treasure any time outdoors. A glimpse of nature is a real lift for my spirits, even if I glimpse it from the window of a speeding train. That's especially true after a long winter, which we've just had on the East Coast. The sight of trees and flowers and the color I remember from my Crayola crayon box, Spring Green, is really a delight. That's why the connection between flowers and Easter makes a lot of sense to me. Flowers are a sign of new life. The Easter lily, of course, is the flower most associated with the feast. Legend has it that the Easter lily sprang up um, when Jesus' drops of blood fell in the Garden of Gethsemane after his agony in the garden. Its brilliant white color reminds people of depictions of Jesus' robe after the resurrection. But the lily is the Easter flower mainly in the West. In Russia, for example, it's, believe it or not, the pussy willow, another springtime flower. In other places, it's the narcissus. But all flowers can be seen as signs of the resurrection for several reasons. First of all, flowers are always a surprise. No matter how many times we might have seen the first crocus pushing its way through the hard, cold ground after a long winter, it's still something of a surprise. And surprise is a really important part of the Easter story. To understate things a lot, the disciples were probably shocked, surprised, by the resurrection. So flowers remind us of the God of surprises. Second of all, flowers are beautiful. It's obvious to say, but the glorified body of Jesus Christ after the resurrection must have been beautiful to look at. A beautiful thing for the disciples to behold. A beautiful thing to experience. And knowing that everything changed is also beautiful. Third, flowers are constant. We trust that the earth will renew itself every springtime. In the same way, we're called to trust that resurrections, little resurrections and signs of new life will happen in our daily lives, that God is with us, and as the resurrection shows, that God is constant. Flowers are faithful. Flowers are constant, like God is constantly loving us. Fourth, flowers are quiet. Sounds silly to say, doesn't it? But they are. Sometimes moments of resurrection are very subtle. When Jesus appears to Mary in the garden, he doesn't have to wave his hands around or scream. He just says, or maybe whispers, Mary. Beauty doesn't have to shout. Finally, flowers fill up your senses, to quote that old John Denver song. It's not just the sight of a flower, but the beautiful smell and the touch of the soft petals. The resurrection was something like that for the apostles, filling up all of their senses, affecting their whole being in a sense, like the sight of an entire meadow bursting with flowers. The idea of the resurrection should really overwhelm us and fill us. So the next time you see a flower, think not only of the beauty of creation, but of the beauty of the resurrection. This is Father Jim Martin for America Magazine. May your Easter be filled with joy and hope and flowers.